We can't do everything all at once, and we don't have enough time to do everything. That's pretty much why we prioritise. What prioritisation scheme do you use? But before we dive in, my name's Kevlin Henney. This is the Modern Software Engineering channel. If you like what you see, give us a like. If you want more of it, give us a follow. The chances are you use a linear prioritisation scheme of some kind that ranks from high to low priority. Perhaps your scheme is really fine-grained and totally ordered, so everything is distinct and unique from high to low. There are no two items that are at the same priority. More likely, however, you'll have a more coarse-grained scheme. You know, maybe three, four, five or more categories that go from high down to low. Maybe you've got a numbered scheme where one is the highest and five the lowest, or one is the lowest and five is the highest, or perhaps you use a named scheme like Moscow, MSCW. Must have, should have, could have, won't have this time. But whichever way you do it, you'll probably find that it's imperfect and that's gonna be true, especially for any linear prioritization scheme. There is, however, a secret, a brutal secret to all prioritization schemes, that in practice, with the perspective of time and the benefit of hindsight, there are only actually three priorities. We'll do it now, we'll do it later, we'll never do it. Of course, you can't necessarily know this in advance, you can't use it to prioritise. This is knowledge that you gain after the fact. But the great benefit of realising that in truth and in reality there are only ever three priorities should prevent you from getting caught up in elaborate prioritisation schemes and techniques and wasting time on overthinking. Now, later, never. That's it. When it comes to priorities, keep it real, keep it simple. Try not to overthink it. And don't forget every now and then to reflect on what actually happened, which were the nows, the laters, and the nevers. 